You got no no. It's King Brew Pants. All right, you guys. I am back home and done from all that holiday stuff. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a very, very Happy New Year's. It's been a minute since I've seen you guys. It feels like it's been forever. Um, speaking of which, Eugene is still in a coma. I will wake him up very soon, but for now I'm gonna leave him in that coma because I got some catching up to do, starting with this mat, guys. Jared's won the girl absolute zero mat. He actually found out that he won uh, like a week ago. I just haven't sent this out yet. He is aware of the delay. Thank you so much for being a good sport. Again, dude, I will get this uh, shipped out to you as soon as possible. Once again, I am way far behind. Um, that is another reason why I'm making this impromptu video because I need to give you guys plenty of time, as much time as I can, um, to prepare for this tournament if you are are going to attend because this is a two thousand dollar in prizes two thousand dollars in prizes goat tournament guys two thousand dollar goat tournament insane thousand dollars to first place thousand dollars to first place and it goes down from there i think a uh, fourth gets like 200 bucks or something like that um i'll have the poster on your screen but um it's something that i should have announced before the holidays before you know i went out of town all that stuff that should have been announced before but you know the rule change happened and some other stuff happened but it, either way guys i'm announcing it now this tournament was announced on zodiac sam announced this on zodiac uh, over a month ago, like uh, like a couple months ago, he announced this. Um, uh, thing, uh, shout out to Start Gaming for hosting this. Like he got he got them to be like all on board about it, and uh, not only be on board about it, uh, but um, you know give out great prizes and give out cash support, which is insane. So um, yeah, we're gonna have it there, guys. January 25th at Start Gaming in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Um, all the information is on that poster. Um, I'll probably put a link to the post, to the Zodiac post or whatever. Um, you know, to that poster probably down in the comment section and um, that's usually where I put things is I'll pin them down in the comment section because my description will change because I'll update my codes and things for like meta mats and one up TCG which segues me into my shameless plug for my sponsors the best sponsors in all of Yu-Gi-Oh meta mats and one up TCG if you guys want discounts if you guys want 10% off of mats or 10% off cards the um, codes for their websites my codes for their websites down in the description the links to the websites down in the description all that stuff go get yourselves a discount go do that and come play some goats with me because I'm going to be at that tournament on the 25th and um, something else about this um, you know about catching up and uh, you know about the new year and everything I noticed uh, that I haven't shown you guys my first place beast down deck profile that I got the last time I was at start gaming I got first place guys last time I was at start I got first place at a goat tournament that they had um, I never showed you guys this deck profile Sam uploaded it to his channel and I realized I never uploaded it to mine. So I'm going to show you guys that deck profile. I'm, I'm gonna, I, obviously there is going to be, and there already has been, tons of changes to this deck, you know, in preparation for the tournament. Uh, this deck was built for the size of tournaments that this was. Um, and um, I wanted to show you guys something in addition to announcing this tournament. Um, you know, I wanted to give a shout out to Start because they're hosting this tournament. This video was filmed um, in the back of, you know, of of the game shop but anyways we had a goat tournament at their store shout out to them for having goat tournaments that's so cool but oh, we had, had a goat tournament there um, I, this deck got first place um kaiku was the card of the day <laughs> like you could almost main deck it because chaos and stuff's around but um, i'm not gonna get into that guys all i'm gonna say is it's not good enough to just know how to beat goats there are other uh, decks in the formats this video is going to serve that purpose it's also also going to serve the purpose of me showing you the same old uh, beast down deck that you guys are used to seeing on the channel but in first place fashion guys in first place fashion um, the side deck has changed a lot so once again this was made for the size of tournament that this was you know this wasn't as big as this um, $2,000 goat tournament is inevitably going to be so uh, yeah and just like this tournament that I'm about to show you footage from you know my uh, deck profile footage from um, this this uh, tournament the $2,000 tournament it's going to be Xerion it's going to be Xerion goats I'm not gonna get into that in this video at all Okay? It's Xerion Goats. There's Xerion Goats and there's Xerion Less Goats. So in closing, guys, Xerion Goat Tournament, $1,000 first place prize, $2,000 in prizes total, Tahlequah, Oklahoma, January 25th. It is going down. I will be there. And we're going to have a lot of good players there. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be tons of good, good goat decks there. There's going to be tons of variety. And guys, just to get you started off and hyped for the tournament, this is my first place deck profile that I guess I forgot to show you guys. Hey guys, what the heck is going on? We are here with some random ass dude that just came in and we had a goat tournament. My name is random ass dude that just came in. Random ass dude that just came in. And uh, we had a goat tournament. He went 5-0, I think he cheated. But <laughs> we, had a, we had a goat tournament here and uh, yeah, he got he got first and beat me in the last round. Not salty at all, but you know. 
What are you playing? I'm playing Beast Down, Zoo Beat Down. Still the best deck in GOATS. Still, because you don't care if your opponent out resources you in the long game. You know why? Because there's not going to be a long game. You win before it gets there. That's like, it. Turn, turn forward. That's, that's, it. that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Um, and what's your matchups? Matchup? Okay. It was your FTK shenanigans, standard go, um, zombies, another beatdown deck, and then a chaos control deck. Like uh, chaos it was yeah, it was chaos control deck. So cool. they have five yeah, five decks. That one Jackson was playing? Yeah, yeah. Pixie control? Yeah, pick yeah, pixie <laughs> chaos control. Yeah, yeah, that thing. Cool. Yeah, Alright, yeah. let's see what you got, man. Okay. Three Berserk Gorillas. That's a good card. Because it's two thousand attack, you always attack with it. You don't you don't care if it blows itself up. You don't care. I mean you don't ever switch it to defense. This card is GOAT get laid, okay? <laughs> like, we were playing Xarian tournament today, okay? If you don't want to play Xarian, don't play Xarian. Don't freaking be a baby about it though. Jesus. Okay. So, now. You're, you're probably offending a few people. Right? <laughs> Who cares, dude? People need to, I don't know. They get a life. I don't care. But, like, look. Bazoo the Soul Eater, okay? At two. Because. At two, because it gets over Jinzo. It gets over, like, uh, Chaos Sorcerer. It gets over all the big monsters. You know, it gets over, uh, va like, Vampire. Uh, what, uh, Vampire. Uh, what's the guy? Uh, uh, vampire Lord. Vampire Lord. Yeah, it got over that today. 2000. Yeah, I was like, Vampire or something. It got over that today, too. So, like. So, not three of this card. Yeah, not three. Yeah, it's, it's two in the format. I don't yeah. think it's a three. Oh, is it really? Yeah, so, okay. yeah. Freaking. Like stupid, stupid card. Then you play uh, two Abyss Soldier because this card, being able to like bounce your opponent's set cards and just keep digging at them, especially if you have Serpent, is the dumbest thing in the world, and you win games because of that. And then you also win games because of this, because that's a goat killer. You call, you know, beast and kill every goat. You just don't want to call. You just want to be careful because if you have beast, you know, and call, try to kill goats, and you have this on the board, this will die too. So you just got to be a little careful. Yeah, just yeah, but just play around that, and you're good. Just it's a goat killer. Uh, serpent for it, you know, rounds up the water engine. You play those four for the water engine, of course. And then you play the warrior engine. Um, everyone says that's the best card. I mean, the worst card, I mean, and it, it is. It is the worst card, but I still play two of it because it still is a problem that they have to get over, and it's still 17 attack and 16 defense. Like, it's still just... Still takes down a monster with theirs. I can't... I, I can't try to replace this with something else. Like, I come back to it. I come back to it. It's, yeah. it's just whatever. And then um, Sangan searches, you know, Exile Force, DD Warrior Lady, Serpent. Um, rounds out the deck really, really well. Plus, you know, this is like... Um, you want to normal summon this when you already have a monster on the field because then you don't fear mirror force because of the mirror force then you so get search yeah exactly yeah. so uh, that card is very very important in the deck um, even though sometimes it does suck if you draw like you only have three targets for Sangan so it does break out sometimes but it's still worth it to play um, every now and then though it only happens once in a blue moon that's the only flaw in the deck I found though um, Breaker the Magic Warrior because it's a you know it's spell destruction you know plus you can get like a two for one with it because you can like attack over something and then like you know pop use its yeah. effect to pop and then uh, I play another Goat Killer I played one Assure Priest um, uh, you're I was that now. I thought you were saying no that. dude I'm maining I was I'm maining two but the thing is was since I put Skill Drain back in this card's dead with Drain and then like. Honestly, like I don't like drawing two of it. So one's perfect. You just want this yeah. as like a bonus monster on top of something else you already have on the board. You kill goats and just keep digging. That's that's what you use it for. And that's all the monsters. I think that's 18 or 19 monsters. Can't remember, but um, that's all the monsters. Then you play, of course, all the best spells because this is the Trinity. This is usually side out, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You side these out. Absolutely. Uh. Every single game. But no. Actually, uh, you do side out. Don't like what do uh, against chaos. This this does nothing to you. They they, they do approve their hand like with Thunder Dragon and stuff. And like. <laughs> God forbid they have serpent too. You know what I mean. So like, you uh, yeah, you, you side that out. I side that out. Side it out like and at you least twice so today. Yes. Anyway. You do because you play uh, three solemn judgments, so you paid a lot of life. So pretty much you play all the best spells. Um, you know this gives you cards. This gives you cards. This takes cards from your opponents. This special summons from grave. This takes a monster from your opponents, and you know the, you use this usually to get game because it just digs more. And then MST because this kills your opponent's copies of these and gets your, your monsters, you know. And we're ready to get the backlash from the comments, but everybody here at this table agrees that, okay, and everybody's gonna be like, what the hell? But let's explain why you oh, actually that's don't, right. you, you don't mean. That's that right. You know, the re look, okay. it's, 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 a, it's an edgy choice, okay? It's, it's, it's techie and edgy, whatever you want to call it, okay? The idea is, if you're playing against good goat players, like everybody here, everyone here plays goats, like you know. So, Heavy Storm's dead. Like it's a one for one, but you'd rather play Dust Tornado. But Dust Tornado is a better card because you can like in phase it, it and, you know. What I mean, and really not worry about it because on your turn, if you Heavy Storm and that's a scapegoats, you're gonna be sick to your stomach. You know what I mean? So like. 
Trap Dot shoots a better card, it's reactive. Yeah. Like, and it, as weird as it sounds, you side in Heavy Storm against bad players or back rows. I don't even side Heavy Storm. Like, the thing is, Heavy Storm, like, it wins you games if your opponent opens really bad and they open, like, Jar and set five or whatever, and it just auto wins, of course, right? Um, but those are, like, one-off scenarios. If you're, like, those are one-off scenarios. Like, how many GOAT games do you play where that happens? You know what I mean? So you'd rather just play Dust Tornado over Heavy Storm? Yeah, Heavy Storm's just... Yeah. Yeah, Dust Tornado's... We're gonna get a lot of shit for that, but anyway. Yeah, it's a potential plus, but, like, the thing is, most of the time you don't plus off of it, so just play a better card instead. Um, two Rota, because you'd search out Exile Force. I always, like... Every time I draw this, Exile Force, except for the rare DD Warrior Lady. But like if they have Sangan or something, obviously Warrior Lady, right? But like Exile Force outs, outs uh, Jinzo, outs all kinds of crap. So it's just really, really good. Um, two knock because it's you, you just keep digging, you banish their stuff, you just keep poking, poking, poking. This card's broken. And then uh, that's all for the spells. Yeah, that's it. No heavy storm. You guys are gonna shit yourselves, but yeah. No heavy storm. Um, best card in the deck. It's all in judgment. Um, because like it even gets normal summons and you don't care like your opponent like tries to be cheeky and like crash they're like they'll be like it'll be like late game right or like it'll be it's only like turn three or four or whatever but they're like trying to get rid of your exile exarian because or whatever because you're like driving into them and they normal summon their exarian and you judgment it and you just keep going and going it's just it, it, oh my gosh it's so dumb um you have to play three of it and like if you open two of it it's so stupid like and if they are, if your opponent is playing Heavy Storm, like of course, like most people are, but like you, can, this allows you to set like a lot more cards, like a lot more traps, because you don't care about Heavy Storm. You just, right. you just don't, you don't care. You don't care about anything. This stops um, the summon of BLS, all that stuff. Like this, yeah. uh, best card of the of, of the day by far, yeah. by far. And um, it gets yeah. any power spell, you know, like okay. kills so anything. This replaced Trap Best right. You. Yep. Plum judgment replaced. Yeah, that. trap dust shoot. I side dust shoots main judgment. Judgment's a better card. Um, the knowledge is really great, but I like it sided better. Right. Um, mirror force to go with the Sakuretsu's. Uh, call the haunted because special summon ring because you know you can ring your opponent for game and it just gets rid of problems. Um, I use I like this a lot against like chaos builds that play like shining angel and like uh, mystic yeah. tomato and stuff. I use it a lot on those. I really like that. Um, like I was talking about earlier, this replaces heavy storm in the deck because this card is better. It's a better card. Like just play it. I can't, I can't explain it. And then if you do have MST in your hand, you can set the MST or whatever. Like you can actually you, you can do stuff with this. Okay. And then um, skill drain last card in the deck. And honestly, I didn't. I saw it once. Option, it? Yeah, I. You main it because it is a win button against a lot of decks. Okay, but I sided it out all day. This was the worst card in the deck. This was the best card. That was the worst card. And on paper, this should be the best card because it just wins. But whatever. <laughs> like, I mean, you kind of played a little of everything. Today. Yeah, a little bit. Of, yeah, it's it's weird. But then uh, for the side deck, okay. The so, uh, because your opponent sides out knock ideally because you don't set anything so you put in Dekoichi's, uh, I, I, I side three it, it's just so um, if you're playing against, mind gaming for sure. oh, you, you just already. you you want to it's so that you make sure you you're see right, your side right. deck cards it's to make sure you see this guy right here if you if you do end up siding him this is the card of the day of the day oh my gosh okay. Of, of any form, like any, any tournament, GOAT tournament lately, I feel like, I've, or any GOAT match I've played lately, like Kaiku, siding in Kaiku and keep, keeping control of your opponent's graveyard because so much stuff plays like Chaos and just being able to like get rid of all monsters out of your opponent's graveyard so they can't activate Prima, can't activate Call of the Haunted. Um, so many other cards like Book of they, Lies, Yeah, you know I mean? yeah like, it helped, yeah. it worked against, um, I sided against Sam, Sam's FTK because he's playing Soul Release and stuff, can't banish. Opponent can't banish, they can't even summon their Chaos monsters with this on the board. Best card. Crazy. Best card. And then um, I cited this. Um, this is also really good against, like, um, I don't know, flip flop. Uh, just, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, Thessalo, Monarchs, like Thessalos, um, anything. And, yeah, you, you, you swap out for these because um, this, when it, it's, a, it's, it's a serpent. Like, I was when playing it's Morphing Jars. Yeah, yeah, and it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's 18 attack serpent. Yeah. And yeah, it, it, I can't really say anything else about it. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's 18, and I've talked about this card on the channel before, so there's nothing else really to say. And then, um, DD Survivor, um, because um, the Beast Down Mirror match, if they have the Warrior Engine 2, this is really good. It's really good against Chaos, because <laughs> if they are playing Chaos, okay, um, if they ban like, if obviously they don't want to banish this target, they're going to have to attack over it, Bates into Sacramento. Armor. Three sac yes, that's the idea, yeah. and this is searchable with Rhoda. For sure. So, Perfect cypher. Very, very good. And then, um, 
Mystic Swordsman just because he's it, a badass. You just, dude, man. Yeah, you, like you rotor search it, and if you really just want to say the fuck flips, knock. yeah, like yeah. if you want to just yeah. say screw flips like that much more, you side that. Yeah. I didn't side it in all day. Uh, this was really good today. Like, because you see your opponent's hand, that knowledge alone just wins you games. But um, the only thing I wish that this card did is get a card and not just a monster. Because being able to shuffle back, like, a Graceful Charity or, like, a Pot of Greed or anything, any spell, like, is just stupid. But being able to get a monster is still really good. And once again, that hand knowledge. So, um, that was pretty, I don't know. I cited in a lot today. And last card, another Dust Tornado. And I would, uh, all day today, I kept taking out Drain for this. All day. Yeah. And it worked really, really well. So that's the deck. That's that's it. Just um, I, I can't really say anything else about it except for um, play a lot of traps, beat the shit out of your opponent, and hope that they don't they don't drop Jinzo if you don't have judgment. So you you do play Zerion, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> God, dude. <laughs>